Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your Kartra account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you add a new product into your Kartra account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, a real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to add a new product into your Kartra account anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that sometimes you offer new products to different subscriber lists. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process to add a new product. It's handled here in your Kartra dashboard. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my Kartra account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to go ahead and add a product, what you're going to do is here on the left side, you want to click on products. It looks like a little shopping cart. All right, once you do that, you're going to be here in the products screen. And in order to add a new product in your Kartra, click on this button here on the right product. It looks like a plus icon. Okay, so first you want to go ahead and add your product. So let's go ahead and name it right here. So let's say YouTube growth. All right. And then is this going to be a main product or is this going to be an upsell or downsell? So a main product would be maybe if we're doing a YouTube growth PDF. And then after they buy that, they can also upsell to maybe uh, coaching. So for today, we're just going to do a main product. So I'm going to click here and then click on create. Okay. So next Kartra is going to go ahead and walk you through building this product offering in your Kartra. So we're going to put in the basic details here, and then we're going to go ahead and design the pricing pages, check out wholesale affiliates and finish. So let's go ahead and name the product. So this will be the official name that's customer face. So let's do explosive YouTube growth. All right. And then the description again, this is going to be customer facing. So make sure that you come up with something that's going to be high convert. All right. So make your way to a thousand dollars per month on YouTube in three months. Okay. So Kartra has a marketplace where you can sign up affiliates to sell your program. If you want to do that, be sure to click here for me. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go no, keep it private. Okay. Next you want to go ahead and choose the payment processor. So are you going to use PayPal or are you going to be running credit cards? If you need help setting that up, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. For me, I'm going to set that up later. So I'm going to configure later. Okay. So that looks pretty good. So you want to click on save here on the top, right? And then save and next. Okay. So now you want to go ahead and set up the pricing. So is it going to be a one-time payment? Like maybe if you're selling an ebook, is it going to be recurring like a membership? Do you offer installments? So for me, I'm going to do a one-time fee. Okay. So one, I'm going to go ahead and write this in as a price description, one-time charge. And then the price right here, let's go ahead and put this at $5.99. Okay. So here, this is important. You want to set this as a default price. So that way, if you're going to be offering discounts at a future date, anytime your customers reference your Kartra account, they will always see this base price right here. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and click on save here on the top, right? All right. And next we're going to click on save and next here at the bottom. Okay. Next it's asking for you to go ahead and put the URL to the product right here. And then also you want to go ahead and put the URL to the thank you page after the May 3rd purchase. If you're going to be upselling them right afterwards, then you want to put that URL right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on configure later and configure later and then click on save and next. Okay. So here you can go ahead and set up your checkout page. So you can change the look of it right here. For me, this looks fine. Uh, if you want to do an overlay or pop-up to your site, you can choose this, or you can embed the checkout form into your website by using this form. For me, I'm going to go ahead and just use this Kartra hosted checkout page and click on save right here. If you want to change your checkout page header logo, you can go here. And then here are the fields that are going to be required in order for this transaction to be approved. So all of this, that looks good to me. If you want to add in extra form fields, you can do that. So there's just a lot of things you can go ahead and edit on your checkout page. You can add product quantity, express checkout. You can tag them if they abandon their cart. So just check whichever one applies to your particular offer and then click on save and next. Okay. So here you can go ahead and tag those customers once they've completed the sale. Also, you can add them into a different list for folks that have completed the sale. And then how are your customers going to access this product? So it can be a downloaded file right here, which is what I'm going to do. It could be a membership. Okay. So here, if you're going to do a download, you want to go ahead and add the file right here. And let me go ahead and add a document. Okay. So I uploaded a PDF. Let me click on check and then confirm. Okay. So now we added the PDF. So that way, when my customers complete the checkout and they pay, they'll be able to download this PDF right here. All right. So once you set that up, click on save and then click on save and next here at the bottom. Okay. So here you're going to go ahead and allow affiliates to go ahead and sell your product as well. If you have the upgraded plan, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to click on save and next. Okay. Next Kartra does give you this code right here. So that way they can track conversions for you. Okay. So I went ahead and went back to the products page. And as you can see, my product has now been added into my Kartra. The reason it's showing up right here is because the form is incomplete because I didn't add the URL to my product. However, once that happens, then you would be able to go ahead and place a test order right here. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to add a product into your Kartra account, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.